Whether you are a student, a researcher or professional writer, you all need to read and analyze scientific content. And I know how time consuming it is to find and go through all the papers relevant to your research and derive useful information out of them. But do not worry, in this video I will tell you about an AI tool that will help you not only find relevant research articles related to a topic but also summarize individual sections from each paper in a tabular format. Using this tool, you can also cite and format references, chat with research papers, detect AI written content and paraphrase text. Not only this, but you can also generate presentation and video abstracts for your research papers to boost your citation counts. So without any delay, let's get started. The AI tool I am talking about is SciSpace. This is the website and how the web page looks like. In the top right corner, you will get an option to sign up or log into your account. As I am already registered, let me log into my account using my credentials. Here you will see four major features SciSpace offers. Literature review to find relevant papers. Ask questions using which you can chat with a PDF of a paper or other such articles you upload. Extract data using which you can extract useful information like summaries in the form of table from multiple papers. And paraphrase to rewrite a paragraph. The panel in the left has several other options like library, citation booster, citation generator, AI detector and others. I will discuss about each of these features and how they can be useful to you in detail. If you want to search for relevant papers on a particular topic, you can use literature review tool of the size space. It will also provide related topics. Within a few minutes, you will get a response. It generates a small summary referring five most relevant papers. It will also provide in-text citation to the related papers which you can open and read in detail. As you scroll down, you will get a list of all the papers that are relevant to the text. As of now, it can provide information only for the papers published till October 2023. You can filter the papers with PDF, access type, publication type, search papers from specific journals and others. You can sort papers based on the relevance and even by the citation count. To read the entire paper, you can click on the DOI. It will take you to the official website where paper was published. If the PDF is available, you can download and read the entire PDF. Now one of the most interesting feature of the tool. It provides summary of the entire paper and individual sections in the form of table. You can modify the columns to see only the desired information. For example, I want to see the insights. Summarized abstract, results, summarized introduction, methods used, limitations, practical implications, and conclusions. This way you get summarized information in separate columns next to the individual papers. What's even better is that you can export the summary of all these papers in different file formats. It will download the summaries of 30 papers here. As you scroll down, it will load more papers. Now you can export the summary of even more papers. Here we are exporting summaries of 100 papers in excel format. You can find all the summaries of all the papers here. You can edit or sort the papers in excel as per your requirements. Similarly you can export the summaries in different file formats too. You can copy the citation in different formats. You can also download them in RIS format to use in other reference management software. I have made detailed tutorial on Zotero and Mendeley for formatting your references. The links are given in the description below. Another useful application of SciSpace is that you can chat with the research paper and ask questions using its co-pilot feature. For example, here I want to know how organic practices improves the soil bacteria. Copilot analyzes the paper and provides relevant information. Here it says following organic practices alters bacterial community. This include acidobacteria, firmiculites and others. You can also ask follow up questions. You can save this chat to the notebook and export it to the word document. Also you can interact and read papers in 75 different languages. For example, here I want to get summaries in Hindi. 
you can see how it has translated everything to Hindi. Similarly, you can chat or ask questions using Copilot and get reply in Hindi or any other language of your choice. You can directly use the SciSpace chat feature using the Chrome extension. As I am using Microsoft Edge, I have installed this extension in this browser and it is working completely fine. Clicking this SciSpace extension logo, you can chat with the research paper, their PDFs or websites in the browser itself. It will analyze the paper and provide answers to your queries. You can see how precisely it is answering the questions. You can use the citation generator feature of the SciSpace to get and format citations for a web page, research paper, book and book chapter. For this, you can either enter the official URL of the published paper or just its title and it will search for the paper for you. I am using the title to select the relevant research paper and click on generate to get the citation. Based on the formatting style, you will get both the in-text as well as the main citation. As citation and referencing style differs from journal to journal, you can format the citations based on the journal type. You can search for the popular journals, although you may not find a few journals. Let's format the citation style to Annals of Botany. I suggest check the citation formatting once. For example, here for the in-text citation, it is not showing at all, even though there are more than two authors. The main citation looks ok. I have verified it from the official homepage of the journal and all the details including punctuations are just perfect. You can use it for publishing. Sometimes you need to change the wordings of the text without altering its actual meaning. This is called as paraphrasing. You can choose among different tones to paraphrase up to 500 words at a time. Here I am copying a small paragraph to paraphrase. To know how to paraphrase ethically watch this video. It also provides an option to further rephrase a specific sentence if you do not like it. You can also detect if the content is AI written using AI detector. Let's first check a small portion of the published paper if it is AI written. So I just copy it here and analyze it. It is showing the content is mostly human written. Now let's check for a small paragraph written by the AI tool. Upon analysis, it is showing it is written by AI. It also shows which sentences are likely AI written so that you can rephrase it to give a human touch. In case you do not want to manually change the AI written content to human like, there are several tools that can automatically humanize your content. For example, Humanize AI and AI Detector Pro. You can try them out too. You can also use SciSpace GPT feature to generate scientific response for your particular query. The interface looks similar to the standard chat GPT. But the key difference is that SciSpace responses are backed by scientific papers. You can also upload PDF of a particular paper to get summarized insights using GPT feature. The good thing is that the generated responses are backed up by the references. At the end, you will also get a table summary. You can click on the link of the individual paper to read more about them. You can also ask related or follow up questions. Another useful feature of SciSpace is Citation Booster. You can convert your research paper PDFs to presentations and video abstracts. This increases the reach of your paper, thus increases the chances of citation. The presentations and video abstracts are short summaries of your entire paper that you can easily make using AI powered citation booster tool of SciSpace. You can use pre-existing voice or upload your own audio. To publish the video, first you need to claim your author profile. For this, you should have access to your institutional or company email. Without this, you cannot proceed further. You can also edit the slides or rearrange them as per your requirement. 
these video abstracts are downloadable and can be shared on social media platforms to increase the reach. You can also create your own library by uploading PDFs of research articles. This way you can get summaries of PDFs in one table. You can export these summaries in various formats too. Another way of creating a library is by importing it from Zotero. For this, you need to have a library of papers in Zotero. Zotero is a very useful reference management tool. To learn more about it, you can check out my detailed tutorial on it. SciSpace is an amazing AI package that can help you in finding relevant research papers and citing them, getting the summaries of individual sections in an easy to read tabular format. Its co-pilot feature helps you to chat with the research papers and PDFs and get suitable answers. We also saw how you can detect AI content and how to paraphrase the paragraphs. The Chrome extension helps you to get the summaries of websites and journal papers. Using its GPT feature, you can chat with the paper of your interest. Another useful feature of this tool is the Citation Booster for creating presentations and video summaries of research papers that can help you gain more citations. If you are a researcher, you should definitely try this tool. But the free version has limited features. To get the unlimited access and use advanced features, you can purchase the premium monthly or yearly plans. Further, if you register through the link given in the description, you will get additional discounts. Do mention your views about the tool after using it at its official website and in the comments below. Always remember, like other AI tools, SciSpace can assist you speed up the academic journey but cannot replace you. It will always be the responsibility of the author about the scientific content. To know more about the AI tools and the ethics related to it, do watch my other videos. If you find this video useful, do not forget to share it with others. Comment below for your queries and requests. I usually respond to them. Check out my other interesting videos on research and publishing, AI tools, nutrition and health, techniques and lot more. Thanks and stay connected for more such videos.